Okay, I've just marked the teeth of this saw with a magic marker so I can see what we're doing. Jointing saw teeth is essentially just filing them even and level. You can do that with a, uh, a, a commercial kind of saw jointer. This is an antique one. Or you can take a file and a scrap piece of wood, cut a uh, saw kerf in it to fit the file at right angles to the scrap, using the scrap wood as a fence and the file to cut down the teeth. That's a very simple way to do it and it works great. Basically, you want to start from the back of the saw. Take nice, even strokes. Depending on how uh, bad the uh, difference of the teeth is, you might need to take a few strokes to get them all level. But once they're all level, you're all set. The next thing to do would be to refile the teeth. Don't forget to mark them again with a magic marker so that you can see what you're doing and just file until the last little bit of the black tip is gone and you're sharp. So that's jointing, setting, and filing hand saws. The most important thing to do is practice and try it and don't be afraid of ruining a saw. So after you've used your saw or you've been working on filing and setting it, you need to make sure that you wipe it off. Use a little bit of oil. Make sure that uh, any fingerprints on the steel are gone. It's amazing how some people's body chemistry will uh, create rust spots immediately. Also, um, the handles occasionally come a little loose. Wood swells and shrinks a bit. If the handles come loose, we have a special screwdriver for the uh, nuts that we use on the tenon saw and panel saws. The dovetail saws all have a traditional split nut um, screw on it. It requires a special screwdriver. So you can just make sure they're snug. Um, if you're going to store a saw for an extended period of time, it's a good idea to Protect it from the open air by keeping it wrapped, either in a uh, oily cloth, keep it in a box, keep it in a toolbox or cabinet, so that the, uh, the air can't get to it and humidity in the air won't start rusting as well. If you uh, treat your saw well in that way, it'll last a long, long time. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm.